Howdy, everybody. This is First Day Kite, and I happen to have three British people with me. Introduce yourselves. Hi, this is Mr. Squishy. Hi, everybody. I'm Forklift. Hey, I'm Psychosrum. Now shut up, all of you. All of you faggots, shut up. Because we're looking at puppies. Motherfucker. <laughs> we got all the puppies. I thought you got all the puppies ages ago. Well, no. Oh, okay. I only got they like they like pushed a present towards you with their face. It was kind of cool. Well but, done. You got no, all the no, puppies. No. Now you have to feed them. Every <laughs> every couple of uh, puppies you rescue, they will give you a present. Oh, okay, fair enough. It's just that now we've gotten all of them. Yeah, so and now we can sell them all off for food. <laughs> so we'll we can have make a enough sweet money coast. to purchase the Ultima Keyblade. Which we will use to kill the final boss. Who actually, is actually, the Ultima Keyblade doesn't, you know, like, cost money. I yeah, it does. It costs it. puppy based death money. And no. we use it to kill Goku. No. So don't make me repeat myself. So anyway, so anyway, we got two items there. We got uh, an arrow upgrade, which means arrow is at max level now, which makes it completely and utterly awesome and broken. And we also got the complete gummy collection, which is essentially just uh, the puppies filling out the entirety of our gummy ship menu. We have maximum amounts of every piece available to us. This is your go to win game soon. So I've got to ask, what were the puppies doing with all this shit? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's fly to end of the world. It's like. <laughs> That is some kind of conspiracy. <laughs> First aid kite, you are such a square. <laughs> it can't even shoot. Well, we're gone, we don't need no aerodynamics. Actually, we're going to space, that is true. God damn. But space doesn't work like this. In space, you can literally make a ship that is just a bunch of disconnected parts. It's with a jet somewhere. I must have missed this heat. level of Star Fox. <laughs> Don't you mean Lilat Wars, you British faggot? We've been over this. Fuck you. Hold <laughs> on. In conclusion, fuck your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this cube is not Watch doing well. Watch out for that orange rock candy and that green rock candy. Oh man. And those things. The game yeah. slows down completely. We need more firepower. Go! Gun! What the f- Go! Aggressive Is crossword that? Oh, puzzle! Oh damn yep. it, what? Really? It's the H-bomb. That's the, the name of the ship, the H-bomb. It has a really cool introduction song. Damn it. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> there is the H-bomb. Finally he gets it. Did you not yeah, actually know? Uh, there are I see swastikas in everything I do. There's like, going to be people in the thread going, what? What are they talking about? Uh, well, I'm going to spoil another thing in a kite video. It was a swastika. Okay. Uh, hey, this is end of the world. Is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we beat Ansem, right? You betcha! But if we do beat him, and all these worlds become restored and disconnected, what's gonna happen to this place? And to us? Well, uh... This is a Heartless world, so maybe it'll just disappear. Huh? But no worries. Even if this place goes poof, our hearts ain't going nowhere. I'm sure we'll find our pals again. Yep, I just know that we will. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're right. I'll return this. I promise. Head. <laughs> so anyway, this is the beginning area of End of the World. Let me just explain what End of the World is. It's end fine. of the world is... Uh, oh, the end of the world? 
It's essentially a place where all destroyed worlds go. Oh, so it's the end of the world. What? Where There's the destroyed there. worlds go when they die? <laughs> they go to the end of the world. That is retarded. Conservation of mass and energy and crap like that. So, you know, they just kind of go here. But basically, the end of the world is purple, and also physics don't work like well, to even be fair, more than usual. Well, to be fair, physics have never really worked in this series. Yeah, but it gets worse here, and then it gets double worse in the next game. So I like <laughs> to think it's because Sora went to the end of the world, he like learned to break physics. You can read my dissertation on it <laughs> at www.porkcliff.com slash my opinions on Kingdom Hearts slash not porn. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I that's bad. You see his porn opinions. Not work safe. <laughs> <laughs> porn opinions. Is the dissertation written entirely in pornography? Oh. Boy. <laughs> So, the language of love, good sir. The language of love. This this whole area is. I think it's very nicely made, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's kind of annoying to actually navigate. I see. Essentially. Fortunately, well. you are an LP veteran. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna equip the uh, best limit in the game, Trinity limit. Three years in the LP trenches. So essentially, there are uh, there are a bunch of invisible walls that you can't actually bypass. So you have to go from island to island and kind of work your way around invisible walls to get to that giant eye at the end. Look, Psycho Serum Man, you weren't there. I mean, I saw co-commentators vaporized, man. Do you remember Clever Spambot? He doesn't remember his own name. <laughs> It's not fun to make fun of people who have I actually been. I don't think anyone remembers it. Clever Spambot. Boom! Take I remember Clever Spambot. Glitch with the darkness by the Tannhauser Gate. If not for Clever Spambot, Black Fat J C Denton wouldn't exist. Yeah, he has so much to answer for. If not for Fat Black J C Denton, I wouldn't have an erection right now. <laughs> Oh, That's man. a lie. I'm in a call with Mr. Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> what about Psycho Serum and me, first aid kite? Look, guys, we, it's been going on a long time. The magic is gone. <laughs> okay, fine. What if I change my username to Fist Aid's clip? Then I will love you forever. You're fighting a giant purple bull. That's yeah, cool. um, I'm fighting a behemoth again because they decided that the behemoth in Hollow Bastion wasn't good enough. They have to have me fight another one. Is this exactly the same as the last one? Yeah, pretty much. Because the last one was so interesting, obviously. Yeah. yeah. He is the exact same, pretty much. So uh, it, it, the skin of yeah. L buff. What, what you need to do is wave your red shorts in front of him so he charges. I hear that's the pro strategy. He doesn't need the charge, he can, like, shoot lightning from his horn. Yeah, that's about the point bullfights kind of sold out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they uh, improved dramatically. Well, yeah, that's also... That, that's, that's, I prefer those, like, bull run things, like when everyone oh, runs yeah, those are great. by bulls. Like, lasers really improved that. Really, honestly, I think the only thing that lasers go well with concerning bulls is bullhorns. Yes. The joke is bullhorn. <laughs> oh. Bullhorn, you have become a joke. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to the club, buddy. There, there's, there's something I do not like about this area, though, and you're gonna witness it shortly. I think after this fight or the next one. Also, in the meantime, we have some new enemies that I am going to explain. Well, technically new. We fought them before, but... I didn't really bother to explain them then. These are angel stars, and they are entirely too easy at the moment. Pretty much they are magical angel enemy heartless that shoot How laser beams. Do you angel know about stars, just computer games. 
Angel I don't Star know. Just sounds like the most like anime the enemy ever. Anime enemy, by the way, is a great thing to say. Try it out. Anime, yeah, anime. enemy. Oh, oh that's anime enemy. Oh, guess what? I've been going the wrong way because the game decided to re uh, redirect my camera to face the exit of the world. So can you just walk anywhere across the purple mass, or no. is there invisible walls? I I went over this before. There are invisible walls. Oh, okay. You have to go from island to island. Right. So this place is pretty uninteresting. Yeah, I, I that's think a pretty dumb mechanic for the last level. I think it's interesting. Uh, kinda, but it, uh, okay. I think it looks interesting, but that gameplay-wise, it can get pretty annoying if you somehow get lost. But it actually reminds me a lot of uh, an H.P. Lovecraft story. Uh, like the only real science fiction story he wrote, it was about some uh, pretty much a space marine or something on Venus who was found it the one where he wrote about a monster that couldn't be described with words, so he didn't. <laughs> No. Because I yeah. love that book. That no. Cool. I love all seven of that book. No, it was literally <laughs> about, like, a guy on Venus going slowly insane because he accidentally got himself caught in an alien man trap, which is just a maze of invisible walls that you could not see and light did not refract off of. And so he couldn't find his way around and eventually starved to death in the maze. They make a lesser one that is essentially just a Sudoku puzzle. <laughs> Has similar effects. <laughs> I'm not sure Sudoku would do too well with invisible walls that light does not refract off of. Well, you couldn't solve uh, it, but that's better. They're totally equivalent. They're really hard, though, Sudoku. Yeah, no, I'm. Sudoku is totally not hard. You guys are just a bunch of baggots. Oh, come on. <laughs> numbers 1 to 9? Gay people can't do numbers. Everyone knows gay people are bad with numbers. Well, yeah, just ask Mr. Loeb. Burn! <laughs> I just lost in one jokes. <laughs> Quick, we need more in-jokes. Um, yep. um, well, I think we've given a shout-out to the seven people who read this thread, so, uh, Pirate Mike, he's a guy. Uh, Pirate yeah. Mike, Rocket what's with your avatar? Rocket what? Lex, what's with yours? Um, I can't believe they both picked up such great gay avatars. I know. I know. Right? What the hell? What kind of person would do that to them? So I those because they're both gay and terrible. So those other enemies you saw me fighting, uh, the ones that look kind of humanish and have swords, and they have the weird heart-shaped antenna. Those are, are called invisibles. Oh. oh. But they but invisible. Really, they just prefer Steve. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, they do have an attack that they do go invisible, but basically they just plant their sword in the ground and then they uh, like make a little possessed ring around one of your characters. Um, if they go around Donald or Goofy, then they're going to get hurt by it, but with Sora, you can dodge roll under it. I see. But basically, it's just, you know, they insist on being called Steve normally, but the focus group didn't really like that, so they gave him their own name. And they actually have a little theme song that's like, Where did he go? That invisible. It's, it's pretty cool. That's true. I read that on the internet. You know what I'm reading on the internet right now? Spanish what are you reading on the internet? Suckled by her canine carer. <laughs> Repeat that, sorry. Spanish piglet suckled by her canine carer. Literally, what I was reading. That, that, that is, is not pretty the good. fan fiction call. <laughs> <laughs> so hey guys, uh, ah, oh, frick, I'm stuck on, I'm, I'm stuck on walls. Dang it. Um. So hey guys, uh, progress. Wow. Why oh no. There's a purple ball. ball. What's it gonna do? And then the game goes back. On us, to apparently. Never. Oh, God. Oh, look, damn. another ball. <laughs> I told you, they really like using them. Everyone oh, recycle shit. your ball gags from last time. Man, this um, is some bullshit. <laughs> also, bullhorn. Um, I, I was about shorts. to make that joke, you dick. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should have been quicker. Yeah, what's the matter? Cattle got your tongue? <laughs> oh. God damn. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I didn't dignify it by listening to it. <laughs> Listen to what? 
What? Yeah, well, I'm not. I'm not gag that was really funny. Yeah, well, I'm not <laughs> dignifying this video with a watch. I'm actually playing Vice City right now. <laughs> Using I, I'm going to play. Th I'm playing Vice City right now with the Kingdom Hearts mod. <laughs> is that what we're watching? My name is Sora Versetti. Well. Whereas I, you know, I gave this video the proper attention it deserves. I dressed up for it. I'm wearing my bull gown. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that Kingdom Hearts is a terrible game for children and Dis Pe Disney fetishists, but we're not giving it the respect it deserves. No. Nope. Kite, you're letting down Kingdom Hearts. It's okay, <laughs> that's what Jake right, and would have... you and your unfunny cretins are ruining Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> That is what the J-Man would have wanted. What would uh, J.C. Denton say? So, J.C. Denton would say, I'll take a candy bar. He'd be like, what a shame. Oh my god, J.C., you're ruining Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> what a shame. Kingdom Hearts? Oh my god, J.C., a reference. Oh my god, J.C. Just My how, anime how I... faggotry is augmented. <laughs> So, welcome to this place. It's pretty much just a bunch of No, 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 I've got one oh. more. Uh, okay, fine, do it. A skull keyblade. Just think a bit. <laughs> um. Come on, that's comedy gold. <laughs> I guess. Whatever. Yeah. What like, I think you were confusing a golden egg with <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the entire so, like, point of this last area... Levels, but they like, let's not design a proper platformer, let's just put shit around here, and they'll that's, probably work something out. That's pretty much what happened. They, uh... Yeah. Like, for this like, area I, in general, I, you have a bunch I, of treasure chests strewn out all across it, but you can't really pick up any of them because most of them are just gummy things that like, you can't pick up because you have the gummy ship collection. Um, yeah. But, but, like, I feel... I hope I'm wrong about this, but it looks like... What you're doing is not what you're supposed to be doing because it looks clunky as fuck. Like all uh, the hang from ledges and shit. Well, I'm supposed to be sidling along at ledges, but I did end up uh, okay. doing a little bit of crazy stuff, like the hanging, exploiting. New question that, like, I may be like 20 videos behind. Why are you flying? <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pan taught me, don't you know? You guys like Peter Pan, you're British. It's true, we do like Peter Pan. Oh uh, yeah. I'm sure yeah. I've made I my feelings from Peter what Pan known. Was. Like, I thought it was, like, the tight pants, but apparently it's just because I'm British. <laughs> There's so many reasons to like Peter Pan, really. I know, right? Yeah. So, I'm supposed mostly to get into the, there. Mostly it's the, like, randomly abducting girls and taking them to a mystic land. Not just girls. Just children in general. All children. Oh yeah, just general. Ch ch well. <laughs> I don't know how I mispronounced children then, but I fucking did. Don't uh, Everyone start the video over. No. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. I'm no, supposed I to get into that vortex thing back there. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could have just muted our commentary at that bit, because everyone's going to be focused on you failing to do <laughs> anything. Here's the thing, the vortex is right there, and I'm trying to find, uh... something to let me up. And as it turns out, I just looked at it right then and there, but I decided, no, that couldn't be it, because it looks exactly like some other webbing that I was not able to climb. I see. So basically, there's, there's webbing in this area that you can't climb, like there. But then there's yeah, other webbing. That looks completely different than ah. stuff that you can climb. Well, no, they look similar enough. I put it to you, Kite, that I am better at Kingdom Hearts than you. I'm level <laughs> 95 right now. Not in this yeah, video, well, but... I'm making... level... Like, I don't care about levels. It's not about the levels, it's how you use them. It's not the size <laughs> of the ship, it's the motion in your pants. <laughs> Look, the the important thing is is that sure. you might be able to reach that by jumping. Yes, you might. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah, there you Oop. go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Donald can't, but fuck Donald. 
Goofy's just gonna Donald. follow off to Donald staring at his sweet white ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, shake it, baby, gorse. Wow. Really, I thought Goofy was still in that relationship with S.S. Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> AVI. <laughs> oh, more in jokes. So, hey, we're in the vortex now. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Internet drama incoming in three, two.